Hello everybody, welcome to my trivia channel from here in sunny Yorktown, Virginia where the autumn leaves are getting pretty close to peak. It's gorgeous out there. And you've heard the expression Elvis has left the building and we use it a lot. I know I do. Big Elvis fan. But today, November 5th, 2020 is the anniversary of the day that expression was first used. Okay, that was the first, the year was first used. And what year was it used though? Okay, was it A, 1969? B, 1971, C, 1973, or D, 1975, okay? And before I give away the answer, uh, the story goes Elvis was playing, he started out a tour, 15 dates, North America, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, at the Metropolitan Sports Center. And the announcer was Al Devorin, capital D-V-O-R-I-N, and I'm not sure, it could be Al Voren, the D might be silent, so I'm not sure about that pronunciation, but he... Of course, at the end, the fans were all going crazy. Elvis was bigger than ever in the 70s. And so he said to, to, they wanted more encores. I don't know if he did even one encore, but they wanted an encore. And he, he said, Elvis has left the building. And that eventually he started, uh, people started using that announcers. And it became a catchphrase. And today it means one of two things when we joke around here in America. You say someone is... When some, somebody knows a lot, they say Elvis has left the building. But more commonly, we use it at the end of an event. Uh, like, um, I don't know, you had, a, you had a Halloween party and it was ending and it was clean up and Elvis has left the building. You know, it's over. So I think we probably use it more for that than when some, some person actually leaves. But anyway, I'll come. trivia question answer is B, 1971. So 49 years ago today. Wow. So... Next year will be the 50th anniversary of Elvis has left the building. Two bonus, bonus trivia bits. The movie Ice Castles was filmed there. Oh, it's so romantic. You see, the girl was blind and she figures gay. Oh, I won't give it away. And um, the other thing is Elvis did come back. Uh, just under five years later, in October of 1976, he came back to the Metropolitan in Minneapolis, played again to another sold-out show. Okay, well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next question. Goodbye.